so my parents are the type of couple who love each other so much that they can't actually be together. And I know I'm only 16, and I'm actually, like, the baby of the family. So I guess I just really want my parents to be soulmates. Um, they've been separated for a while, and I live with my mom and my sisters and uh, here. And my dad is um, my dad lives in New Jersey on a hill in a decrepit old house. And um, I don't know, like, it's my, my, my immediate family. It's my dad, my mom, my, and my two sisters. And all the women in my family have always been, like, really artistic and uh, performers in some way. And my dad has just, like, never really been into that. Other, I mean, he understands it. He's just, like, is really into it, which is cool. But, um... About two years ago, over the summer, I'm at my dad's house, and I have the same room that I had since I was, like, four years old. And, like, I decide that I'm going to use one of these walls as a canvas. And so I, um, I've always been really into painting and artsy, fartsy stuff. And so I decided that... Or, you know, I should tell you about my dad first. Me and my dad... Um, have, like, a lot in common. Like, we have the same last name, the same eye color, and uh, when I was, when I was little, like, I would always be on his shoulders and stuff, and then we also think the same way, and, like, we're either really obsessed about something or, like, completely ambivalent about it. So when I was little, I used to think my dad was, like, like, completely obsessed with milk, because every time I would spill it or do something of that nature, it would be the biggest deal. And uh, being the youngest and having that kind of like relationship with him, it kind of like accented our relationship as like this fearful way, which really shaped a lot of it. So it's two summers ago, I'm sitting in my room, I decide I'm gonna paint on the wall. And so I choose the spot that my dad will never see, which is the spot behind the door. And um, I wanted a tree. And so, but I mean, it wanted to be a face. So <laughs> there's a face on my wall, but it's behind the door. And my room is shaped like this. And so the door's right here. And, you know, my dad pops in every once in a while and he doesn't even know it's there. Um, yeah. And you know, at my house in New York, we painted, me and my sisters and I painted this, uh, this right whale on the inside of the bathroom, and it's really cool. Um, yeah, so I'm sitting, in, and so it's now years past, and I'm, you know, I'm sitting in my room in Jersey, and I'm looking at my wall, and I'm looking at all this crap that I think was important. Like, you know, pictures and drawings that I made and just, like, stuff that you think is really important when you're 15 or 16, but it's really not at all. And I decided it was just way too stupid, teen angsty, and I just ripped everything off my wall. And it's, like, really late. It's, like, probably 3 or 4 in the morning. And I decided that... I'm going to use a bigger canvas now. And um, so I had some spray paint just in my house. Uh, and uh, I don't even know how it got there. My dad was using it for some reason. And uh, I do this, I do the first line across my wall, and it's just like, it's so crisp, and the contrast is just so striking. and. I mean, I think about it now, and I, would, I, I knew that I was just, like, falling in love with that contrast that, like, like just, I just loved it so much, and uh, so I kept going, and um, <laughs> so uh, what happens is that there's a dragon on my wall now, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, so, you know, I'm in my room, and I, it's getting stinky, so I have this, like, bandana around my face. I'm covered in paint. 
Like, there's paint everywhere. There's a step ladder leaning against the wall because I need to get higher. And I hear a knock at the door. And when my dad knocks, it's not to t ask you if he can come in. It's to tell you that he's coming in. So he walks in. He opens the door a bit, sees me there, <laughs> literally red-handed. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm his, I'm his baby sitting there with a bandana across my face covered in paint, like, and um, he looks at the dragon, he sees the tail on one wall, and then, and then the body of the dragon come down, and then the face and the head and smoke onto the other wall. And um, he's standing there and he's looking at me. Oh, crap, I forgot to mention. Okay, um, I recently got to know my dad as a sober man two years ago. Kind of important. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so we're staring at each other and suddenly my entire room just comes this like vortex of just awkward space and this thing in my chest like just becomes this empty messy bloody cavity of just like it feels like something dirty like something rancid is just spreading is pumping this like disgusting blood throughout my entire body and he's looking at me and I just feel like oh man like I've really done it now like there's milk all over my wall like it's it's it, this is it like when I, and I started to regret everything that I had just done, this like beautiful thing that I love so much. I, it's just, and I, then I regretted why I was regretting it, and he, and he looks at me and he probably is thinking like, wow, what is this, why is she thinking this? And then he goes, that's actually pretty cool. Thank you.